guys, it's Faith on Tap TV, and you're welcome to another special edition. I want to use this medium to thank you, our subscribers, for those of you that like our comments, I mean, that like our posts and the comments for commenting. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Um, on this episode, for those of us new around, this is a platform where we bring you the latest gist and happenings around us. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and be free to share your comments. By the way, do not forget to click on that subscribe button. The governor of Zamfara State, Belo Matawali, claimed that the chairman of EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, begged him for $2 million. It all started when the governor said that the EFCC should investigate the outgoing governors and the presidential officers. Reacting to his statements, the EFCC chief said that they want to investigate the governor. And the governor came out so that the reason they did all this was because if, if he refused to give him the money he requested. The Director General of NYSC, Brick Ahmed, mentioned that the certificate presented by Enugu State Governor-elect Peter Umba is fake during an interview on Arise TV. He mentioned that this certificate seemed to be gotten from black markets and, and NYSC do not give certificates in hotel rooms or houses. Nigerian President Mahmoud Bari have been said to have inaugurated a state medical center in Abuja. According to report, this medical center is set to provide services to the president himself and his vice president and their families as well as special guests. The spokesman for Nigerian police force, Olumugiwa Adejobi, said the force will investigate a policeman who was seen in a viral video opening a car for Nigerian popular singer, Spyro. This all started as a result of the viral video seen in the singer's Twitter handle, where the policeman is being seen opening a car for him. This is me. African men entertainment kings are suspended Yoruba Nollywood actor named Shonenye Olamiko, popularly known as show for allegedly assaulting a female colleague named Temita Yomora Kinyo. This all started when the actress on her Instagram page narrated how the actor stormed a movie set in Ibadan on your state and beat her up. Thank you guys for sticking with us throughout this edition. We've come to the end of this video do not forget to click on the subscribe button once again and watch out for our next edition bye guys